Hey guys, it's um, Jacob Fricks here. Um, currently I'm in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Um, I spent spring break with my girlfriend and her family and um, we just haven't haven't had a chance to go back uh, to school or back home yet just due to the whole coronavirus thing. Just taking out Adrian for their first losses of the year. Um, winning both games with less than a minute left in the game was something that I'll never be able to forget. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to be suited up for those games. Um, I was out with an injury, but that didn't even matter because those were just two things that, looking forward in my life, I'll never be able to forget. Um, anytime you have a one and two seed going at it, you know anything can happen. And even though we've never beaten them before, um, we were able to just come away with two wins that weekend. And even though we didn't think that would be our last time playing against each other, we thought we'd probably meet again at national championship. Um, that turned out being our national championship game. And so that was that was just cool to be able to experience that. And there's just so many things that's happened over the past four years, but truly that is the one that stood out to me, the just being like, like I just will never be able to live down that moment. The amount of support we have from you guys, from our fans, um, but especially the community we have with our team. I mean, we had 14 freshmen my freshman year and just spending all four years with all 14 of those guys um, is something that you don't experience really anywhere else. I mean, growing up playing hockey, you go through different teams, different leagues, different organizations, you get traded. Um, but, you know, when you get to college, you guys stick together and we had such a big class. It was cool to see each and every one of the guys grow and especially to see us grow together and just overcome so many different things and um, winning and losing, going through Warrior Fellowship, all the stuff that we did um, just brought us closer together. It was weird. I know I remember got a, I remember I got a text from Coach Burr and he was just saying it's over. And at the time, I, I didn't really know what that meant. Um, I mean, this was just kind of when the coronavirus stuff was going around. I think the NBA season just got canceled. So we were all kind of wondering, like, all right, well, if NBA got canceled, like, what's going to happen to us? But when I got that text, I didn't really want to believe it was true um, until um, our captain sent out a text a little bit later. And they said, um, team meeting in 30 minutes. And it's like, that's when it kind of hit me, like, all right, like, this is it. Like, we're not going to have a chance to play at Nationals. And that was just, it was hard to hear because something that we are, we worked all year long for was just taken away from us just like that. Just looking back at it, how angry and sad I was that it happened, like having time to reflect on it now. And something that I've learned just over the past four years is that, you know, life isn't about hockey. Life isn't about getting that national championship ring. It is about raising the trophy over your head. Um, I think the biggest thing we can celebrate this year, and even if we would have came home with a national championship, I still think it's more important to celebrate um, just the way that we grew closer to Christ, seeing even my own brother um, get baptized this year, along with a few other kids on our team. That's something that no national championship will ever bring. We're not going to have rings in heaven. We're not going to have trophies in heaven. But if we have our brothers there with us, if we have our teammates there with us, everything on here on earth is left behind us. It doesn't even matter. So, I mean, it's just hard as it was to hear that this season was over. The best part of the season has already happened. And that's something that we get to take with us literally forever. We don't have to leave that behind. And um, that's something more to celebrate than anything. I just want to thank all you guys, you fans, for just giving us an incredible um, four years. I mean, every Friday night having a sold out bar and playing in front of four or 5,000 people, um, seeing you guys push the glass onto the ice, um, yell at the other team from behind their bench. Um, that's just, that's the college atmosphere that each and every one of us dream to grow up and play in. And um, that's exactly what I had in my mind when I started playing hockey four or five years old. Growing up, I knew that I wanted to play college hockey and you guys gave me that experience that um, I dreamed for. So truly, this is a th big thank you to you guys. And we just appreciate each and every one of you. Um, I just also want to thank our coaches and our trainers for just being there for us whenever, um, for just putting us in a position to succeed, um, for sharing your wisdom and knowledge, um, for not just being a coach, but for being a father away from home, for someone that we could go to for anything. 
So we just want to just thank you guys for that. Thank you, coaches. Thank you, trainers, and especially Brett and Puskas, um, our equipment managers. You guys have truly what made this team stand out. Um, you turned this ordinary college hockey experience and you turned it into something that um, most NCAA Division One teams won't get. Most pro teams have. We have that because of you guys, and we don't deserve that. So we just thank you guys so much for that. And, um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, you know, Josh is still going to be there. Um, he'll be putting on a show for you guys. We're going to have an awesome team next year, and I'm so excited to just get back to the rink next year and watch a few games when I can. Love you guys.